you will now watch one out of 30 secret videos. And if you want to get all of them, just watch till the end. All right, we're starting with ball in hand and I always want to have uh, enough angle, but not too much angle. So here on the two ball, just going to cross over a bit, touch of left spin here. You see, this is already a bit too much angle actually, but we're still fine. I just got to keep uh, the cue ball on that side where I can stun into that rail. That's uh, the most important thing. So here I have to use maximum right spin now. And it worked out. You see with a bit less angle, I would have been able to hold the cue ball more, but this should be possible. Just uh, stunning over or drawing with left spin to open the angle here. You can see now the angle opens. Could have been actually a bit closer. So again, I have a bit more difficult shot here. Just want to roll it in, avoid that 14 ball, keep enough angle on the 5 ball, that's very important. I don't want to end up straight. And that's always dangerous to roll balls in if you're that far away from the ball, even on good tables. Cue ball can always roll off. Alright, here it really doesn't matter, I think. All I want to do is not be straight, I think I'm going for the angle where we're actually going into the short rail here. Trying to hold the cue ball, not do too much, low left here. This is fine. Now let's see if I'm actually going two rails. So from here to here, I think I will have a bit too much angle on a seven that way. That's why I'm just going uh, through this gap, just one rail. Now this is a very important shot um, because this happens very often. What will happen if you're just following the cue ball? Do you actually need a touch of right spin or left spin to go through that gap? So this is a shot you definitely have to practice. I think here a high ball, just a tiny, tiny bit of right spin is good. Yeah, nicely through the center of that gap. Don't go too far because I want to have a natural angle on that eight ball. So here, just rolling that in with left spin to avoid the nine ball. And to always have, uh, also have enough angle on that eight ball. Just a bit too much, but we're fine here. No interfering balls on the rail. So now, well, here every angle basically works, straight works that angle or that angle just going to concentrate to bring the cue ball towards here i think this should be fine that angle we're going into the long rail afterwards and i'm not trying to hold the ball here because i have too much angle so don't try to hold the ball if it's very difficult maybe the eight ball doesn't reach maybe you have cutting to fix so actually use that uh, second long rail here and just let your stroke a bit more out Okay, I have that angle where I'm going into that long rail. Again, it's not super natural. Here would have been really natural just using some right spin. Much more controllable than the stun shot. So now I have to stun exactly through that gap here again. And I think just a stop shot. Checking the tangent line will actually work pretty nice here. Just want to add a tiny bit of right spin that helps the cue ball to um, gain some speed of the rail. Here yeah, that's fine. Not too much, not too little angle here again. Not just trying to hold the ball, but I'm using that second long rail. Just again, touch of right spin here. away from the rail that's actually nice so what do we do here well i think i'm actually going to use some inside spin here to be on that side of the 12 ball afterwards yeah it looks nice to me so with that angle i can reach it from here because i'm a lefty as you can see but even from here i could basically reach it so let's check, yeah, since the 13 ball is so close in the pocket, I'm just going to go two rails. Just want to make sure that I don't snook on myself behind that 14 ball. That would be horrible. That's the, exactly the reason why I'm going two rails. You can see that way you can never snooker yourself behind that 14 ball compared to that uh, one rail. 
we're just traveling along this line and basically can end here. So the last difficult shot, if I'm getting straight into any pocket on the 14 ball, I will have a very easy stop shot. I think I'm just going to draw back. Of course, I could also let the cue ball run a couple of rails around. Just going to draw back. It's easier in that case. Even though you gotta be a bit more precise with your cue ball control. That's why I, by the way, wasn't trying to draw it back towards here to be close, because if you're here, with the cue ball, imagine this is the cue ball, then you are very dependent uh, on the exact position. The further you are away, you can see this doesn't make that big of a difference if you're further away. That's why I like to draw the cue ball a bit further away back from this 14 ball, just because I have more room. So, not perfectly straight, but I think this should be very doable. I'm just trying to play a very soft stop shot. And there you have it. So if you want to get all of those 30 videos, just follow the link in the video description or at the top right of your screen and make sure to use the bonus code CHRISTMAS to get a 50% discount. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.